Most PSI students couldn't solve this question. Can you? The height of container R is half the height of containers Q. Macy poured water from container P to both containers Q and R. Container Q was filled to the brim, which means it's full, and the remaining water could only fill 3 fifths of container R. The question is asking, what is the height of container R? Let's look at this question. Water is poured from container P to both container Q and container R. We know that container Q is filled to the brim, and the water remaining can only fill 3 fifths of container R. So in this question, 3 fifth fraction means that the 5 units as a denominator is actually the capacity of the container R, and 3 units is over here where it filled. Now, the next fraction, half. It states that the height of container R is half of container Q, which means that the height of container Q is actually 10 units. So, first, what is the question asking for? The question is asking for the height of container R, and we know that the to find the height of container R, we need to find the volume over the base area. So, let's look at what is the total volume that is poured into container Q and R first. Total volume in P is 21, times 13 times 36 minus 4 which gives us 8736 and we know that this is actually 10 units plus 3 units is equals to 8736 8, one unit will be 8736 divided by 13 which gives us 672 <coughs> question is asking for the height of container r so we need to find the volume of container r which is 5 units so that gives us 3360 so to find out the height of r it means that total volume 3360 of R divided by the base area of R, which is 12,010, gives us the final answer of 28. Answer is 28 cm. You get it right?